This week, I have a really fun and easy ray of sunshine design for you because I've been spending the last seven days at my mom's house while she recovers from total knee replacement surgery. So you have to forgive me, I didn't quite have my normal setup with lights or with um, my camera setup. So if I bump the camera, you might see a little bit of shakiness and the light's not quite as bright as normal. But anyway, let's get started. So I am using that skinny washi tape that I got off Amazon and I am creating basically kind of a sunburst. It ends up looking more like a seashell with the tape on here, but I want kind of evenly spaced lines that are kind of sunbursting out from the center of the stone at the bottom. And then this is gonna be my color scheme. So two kinds of pink, a light daffodil yellow, and then kind of a coral color that I'm gonna lighten up a little bit. And again, this design was inspired by some cookies that I saw on Instagram that were just super cute. And I was like, ah, oh, that would look so cute on a rock. So that's what we're gonna do. I thought it was a really unique idea to throw some pinks and the coral into a sunshine design, but it looked so cute on the cookies. So trying to keep them all kind of in a pastel shade, the pink, this darker pink needed a little bit of brightening, but now I'm gonna take a white watercolor pencil and draw kind of a half circle where the sun is gonna go and then kind of a line around the top to know where my rays of sunshine will end. And now I'm just gonna start filling in the rays of sunshine with the different colors. And I'm gonna go in order from the darker pink to the lighter pink to the yellow and then the coral. And it wasn't until after I finished the first coat on all of these that I realized I probably should have used gesso underneath as a base coat because I had to do several coats to get a nice, bold, vibrant color and get full coverage on everything. So hindsight is 2020. I should have used the gesso, but I didn't. And um, it still came out cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in all of these rays of sunshine. And now my favorite part of these designs with the washi tape is pulling the washi tape off and seeing the nice crisp lines that it leaves behind. And this is really cool because it just leaves that stone background exposed, but it creates perfectly straight and even lines in between each ray of sunlight. The washi tape is increasingly becoming one of my favorite little tools to have and keep handy because it just is so much fun. I find this so satisfying taking the tape off. And now because I learned my lesson, I am going to put a couple coats of the Liquitex Gesso on the sun so that I don't have to go over 10 million times with the daffodil yellow. And then because it's sunshine and because I love my sparkle, I'm going to add the Folk Art Extreme Hologram Glitter Paint to each of the rays of sunshine just to give it a little bit of dimension and sparkle because the sun is bright and shiny and yeah, we just can't get away without the glitter paint, right? I also wanted to thank all of you who sent well wishes to my mom without even knowing her necessarily, but when I made the 5,000 subscriber announcement and said where I was going and why, so many of you left really sweet comments about wishing her a speedy recovery and she is doing great and I just wanted to let you know that we both thank you for that. It was very sweet. 
Now I'm going to take a Posca PC1MR paint pen and write the word shine in script and then I'm going to come back and thicken up all of the downstrokes to get the faux calligraphy effect. And because I can't leave well enough alone, I thought it would be fun to add some white accent dots and um, swipes just for a little bit of accent on all of the rays of sunshine and a little bit on the sunshine itself. I didn't pack enough colors with me, but I think this design could be a lot of fun if you swapped out the pinks for different colors like blues or purples um, or like an aqua and a turquoise. I think it'd be really pretty. But even still, I think this color combination came out so cute and it's perfect for summer. And I feel like there's so many more summer ideas I'm not gonna get to because back to school and then fall and Halloween are gonna land on us so fast. But let's take it as it comes and thank you so much for stopping by and thank you so much for being patient while I took a week to help my mom out. Keep spreading that kindness and I'll see you next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.